Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Fisher Online. And today, once again, we are back in Finland, but we have two 30 kg rod setups. And we are going to be trolling between the three islands. And let's see how we do today. We, I already have a fish on. I was just full speed ahead coming towards the uh, these islands. Also, night temps. I don't think I will be getting much, but I if I do, I will keep recording. Uh, guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. And what a way to start off with a 6.677 Arctic Jar. Beautiful fish. And I'm loving this. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful moon. Let me turn my light off. <laughs> Look at that beautiful scenery, man. Beautiful. The moon is out. The sky is just clear. It's a little bit hazy right now. A 9.9 .9 kg northern pike. Whoa, look at this guy. He looks so aggressive, except he only has lower teeth. Oh, poor thing. Anyway, that's our very first northern pike. He looks less derpy like the other pike. That I've been catching everywhere else. Uh, he does look very aggressive. He looks like he just ate some oily food or something and he just <laughs> just <laughs> went ham on the food. Uh, not very good uh, table etiquettes. But anyway, uh, just look at that beautiful scenery. You can see the island, you can see the moon. It's beautiful. Nice. I got something here. Looks maybe another pike. Oh, that is a pike. That is a pike. 7 kg pike. Look at this guy. 17 kg northern pike. I had. Unfortunately, I had to be really quick about this guy because the server was restarting. There was less than a minute left, actually. <laughs> so I could not record at the time. But let's continue on this evening. I got something small here. What could this be? Interesting, interesting. Nothing has been really small. Oh, you know what? It's probably an asp. I forgot. <laughs> uh, those are the smallest fish I've caught here. And that is a 1.5 kg Xander. There we go. Now we have a Xander here as well. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we just got something big here. Never been hit this hard before. So this is uh this is really good. We are at 19 break. It's not that our break is too weak, and uh yeah, it is finally late, late morning. It's almost noon. No, actually it's just late morning, like 10, 11 a.m. At least winter time, that's basically what it feels like. Uh, let's see here. In this beautiful lake, what we have. We're slowly reversing towards the fish. And let's find out what this guy is. Oh, he's surfacing. There's something on our number one rod. Looks like it. Wow, we got something on our number one too. Let's just stop the boat here. Oh wow, our rod is uh... Yeah, our rod's not looking too good. <laughs> the one on the boat. That is a Atlantic Salmon, I believe. Large Baltic Salmon 19 kg hot damn. Ooh, I like you. I like you very much. -y. Let's pick up our number one here. Ooh, where are you? You're all the way over there. Not gonna... Drive the boat. Because it just uh, turbo boosts the fish. And it's an easy one. I think this is another salmon because I don't see red. Yep. What kind of salmon? I don't know. There's two types of sand. There's Baltic and Atlantic, if I have it correct. 
Okay, easy score here. Uh, Atlantic, yes. So there you go. Baltic and Atlantic. Oh, I'm loving this. I had to sell my previous fish in order to buy the new lure. Uh, so our large pike is the last fish in the bag. Uh, as for lures, I'm using a deep tail M2 and M3. M3. Nothing else really worked. I used uh, the shad M2 tail and it did not get anything. I think this is the wrong one. What I need is the blue one, which is the M3. Perhaps that's the one that's working. People generally said everything works, but uh, nothing besides these two have worked for me. Look at that beautiful scenery. It's just a treat fighting big fish on a nimble boat that we know we can follow the fish with and it's just beautiful scenery as well. Let's stop the boat here. That was a quick fight. A 9 kg Baltic Salmon. I have a huge Baltic Salmon on right now. Is this bigger than our 19 kg I had earlier? I don't know. I hope so because uh, it's sure it's sure fighting a lot harder than uh, the one I just had. And it's taking out line like crazy. Oh, we almost have it. We almost have it. Please, please, please bring it in. Yes. 23.9 kg large Baltic salmon. There you go. Nice. Man, these salmons get big. That's insane. If we look at the records here, Baltic salmon, 35 kg is the record, guys. And the Atlantic salmon I just got was 9 kg. This is 11.9. We got a rare specimen here. Too bad it's not a... Uh, it's not um, a trophy. Once again, we're right back at the island. That fish brought us back. I was heading that way. And instead, we came back here. Another bad boy here. In the Oh, that's a pike. Nice. Hello, pike. You are mine. Come here. Come here, you. Uh, 16.9 kg. Man, this is a little bit smaller than our 19 kg, but this is sweet as well. All right, this is going to be my first bag that's filled up. 5.2 kg Atlantic. Oh, no, that's not even a marker. Oh, uh, let's go sell our fish. And then I'm going to go on another short trip again. And let's go. There it is. Oh, hello, barbecue. Uh, let's see a 576 silver. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to be honest here. Italy is better in at making money. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, but this is more fun because you have bigger fish here. Whereas in Italy, you just sit down in one spot and just keep reeling in the fish. Uh, but this is more fun. So large Baltic salmon at 90 silver, Atlantic salmon, look at this, 9 kg, 87 silver, 71 silver, 51, 51. And the rest are just uh, not much. I mean, 36 silver is pretty good. Uh, but compared to Italy, like, <laughs> you know, you got to pick it up. Uh, the other thing is, it's very hard for me to compare because I just don't know how long I was here. I've always forgotten to time myself. I'm going to do a little bit more fishing between the islands and let's see what else we get. Come on, fishy. Don't be like that. Yes, there we go. What are you? 16 kg Baltic salmon. I will take that. Okay, what big fish do we have here? Did I see red? I hope I saw red. That means we're going to get a huge arctic char. Come on, come on. You can do it, fishy. Nope, that's a pike. Okay, well, we got him pretty quick, I think. Ah, come on. Yes, use your muscles. 
22.8 kg large northern pike. Holy moly. That is a beast right there. Uh, with only lower teeth, unfortunately. Poor guy. Old elderly fish hair. Okay, I got fish on both rods right now. Neither are really that big, but I mean, they're still a decent size. Looks like a 5 kg to me. That's my, that's my guess here. 6.4 kg. Okay, I will take that. Oh no, I forgot. Non-marker salmon. How much was that non-marker salmon worth? I completely forgot. Because uh, I remember even the tuna when it was a non-marker was still worth like 20 to 30 silver depending on the size. Uh, that's why I don't want to sell this guy because he is pretty big. I just need to know how much is he worth. Alright, we have a uh, Atlantic Salmon. Uh, l amazing XP. I'm already through level 26. So this map is all about XP. And as I mentioned, less about money. Uh, it's slightly, I would say it's slightly worse off than uh, Italy. Italy was easy mode. Uh, you made amazing money catching fish that averaged around 6kg, 4kg. And still you would make, you know, 700, 800 silver, maybe even a thousand silver I've made within, I think I would say one hour, 45 minutes maybe. Uh, so this map, I don't think it is as good as Italy in terms of money. But looking at the XP, like I got here. Uh, this is my second day here. Right? And I'm already halfway through levels 26. That is just insane. Alright, nothing too big. Another Atlantic Salmon. I believe Baltics, if I remember, are darker. The 8kg Atlantic Salmon, very nice. Let's get back home, sell our fish, and see how we did today. So, uh, this beautiful place though, I have to say. Man, and these red, yellow, and green trees, really nice. Let's go ahead and sell our fish. So that uh, non-marker, oh wow, look at that guys. A non-marker Atlantic Salmon is still worth 60 silver. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, don't sell your non-marker Atlantic Salmons. I don't know why this is a non-marker when it's worth so much. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's worth more than a 16 kg Baltic Salmon. Isn't that insane? So 82 silver was this 8.4 kg Atlantic Salmon. That's pretty sweet. Look at the pikes, not worth much at all. 22 kg, which is huge, is worth only 65. Uh, so from the looks of what I'm seeing here, Atlantic salmon are the best fish to fish for. They don't get too big and they are, they are amazing priced. Uh, Baltic salmons are not well priced and nor is the pike, sadly. Arctic chars are, I I'll say they're decent priced, uh, but you, in order to make money, you need to catch the rare uh, Arctic chars that are, you know, maybe probably twice the size of this 10 kg. In my previous video, I believe I did catch a 10 or 12 kg Arctic char. I just don't remember how much it costed. I believe that would have been 90 silver as well. Uh, so there you go. Uh, this time, guys, I trolled between these three islands. Let me just show you what I was using. I was using Deeptail M3 and Deeptail M2 Wobbler or VOB, whatever the heck that means. And that's what I was using today. Uh, so there you go. That was a showcase of Finland. A really nice lake. It's a lot of fun. If you want to make XP, this is just amazing. If you want to make money, Italy is amazing. Both lakes, uh, sorry, both one lake, one river slash sea. Both are amazing looking and a lot of fun. I just feel if you want to fight, if you want the big fish, this lake is for you in terms of spin fishing. If you want to make money and you don't really have the gear, uh, um, Italy is the place. But anywho... Uh, pretty soon we are going to unlock Iran, which is, oh, that's level 30. Uh, Serbia is level 28. So the next lake or river, whatever this will be, will be Serbia at 28. 
and I guess I will see you guys once I make it to Serbia and show off that map. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below and I will see you in the next video. Until the very next time guys, take care and enjoy.